Good evening, Christine. When AT&T tried to expand its 5G network by installing fiber optic cables underground, the woman who lives here says she was left with broken pipes, broken promises, and on top of all of that, now she's broke too. The past year has been rough for Nancy Wainan. My daughter died of COVID, and two weeks later, my husband died of COVID. Last month, right around the one-year anniversary of their deaths, she was dealt another devastating blow. Sewage coming up through the house. You know, I had company here. We had to use the park bathroom. Couldn't use water. Still low on funds from having to pay for funeral expenses, Wayne and hired a plumber who informed her that AT&T's contractor installing fiber optic cable underground mistakenly bored the orange conduit right through her sewage line. It was directly through the, it was like a T. I see, I and see. And there's you mean. no way the plumbing can work when you've got a five inch conduit through it. After calling AT&T initially, she says she thought the problem would be taken care of. And AT assured me that they would pay for all the damages, but now I got a letter Friday saying that they are not responsible for any of the damages that the contractor that did the work is responsible. Unable to locate the contractor AT&T hired and in desperate need of functional plumbing, she took out a $20,000 loan and paid a plumber to fix the issue. They had to dig it all up and run a whole new pipe into the house. This lady should not have to go and take a $20,000 loan out to repair damage that AT&T admitted their contractor did. Wayne wants AT&T to pay up. AT&T is a big conglomerate company. They have the money to fix this. They should not be taking the little man on. So after we called AT&T tonight, they sent the contractor out here to talk to Wayne and they sent us a statement saying that they are going to apologize to her, work with that contractor to find out exactly what happened here and quote, make this right. Reporting live in spring tonight, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. And